Well, Victoria and I are sitting here looking at the Schumann, and hey, <laughs> as always, we're looking at echoes of energy that originally were supposed to be a measure of electrostatic occurrences within our own atmosphere. And by the way, it also proves the existence of, a, of we are encircled in a, if you want to call it a dome, I think it's more of a sphere that encircles the whole planet. But you see a lot of the flat earthers believe that this proves that we're in a dome. And thunder and lightning, we've seen how basically that can be created and emulated within larger domes. And the echo is identical when you start like creating explosions, small explosions, things that say technology could do. And over the last few days, all of this information ties into the Schumann because that's exactly what the Schumann is. It's supposed to be a way to register uh, thunder strikes that are going on all around the planet. But if you understand that they're also talking about technology, the Schumann then becomes something far more amazing because it actually allows them to begin to uh, shape and create reality and energy reality can be held within this dome because that's how we see the atmosphere, the sky, all that is is a generated illusion. And the Schumann registers the changes in this and it also happens to be on the same frequency that our brains operate. So obviously it's picking up on the energy flashes kind of like if you take an x-ray of someone. It's picking up on that and it's seeing what's going on around the planet and there are echoes of the beings that are within this dome, this reality, this spheroid energy. <clears throat> and that is why we know that the Schumann is literally like having a living sonar. Remember I told you years ago that was something I did in the military as I was into uh, electronics and, and uh, sonar and pinging and ranging and I'm telling you all of this makes perfect sense to me on a higher dimensional level and I want you to understand the value of what we're about to tell you so on the 28th we had Hurricane Ian we also found out that the FEMA barges and there was something with that uh, I put out a video up on telegram from Richard Citizen Journalist who said there is no FEMA in the state of Florida. and Not anymore. No. They're all gone. The military the took military out. The military took them out. So I want to go back to the Schumann on that day. There was a face with energy around it that appeared before the blackout. And then there are other beings after the blackout in the lower dimensions <clears throat> that appeared. It's And they're holding out a sword. And I'm starting to think that these were some of the lower dimensional creatures who were caught and that were taken. And it would explain that video, the spinning death. My God, if you haven't seen this, if you doubt that we're, what we're telling you is false, look at the video Victoria put up called Spinning Death, yeah. where, where people are just out and about doing average everyday things and all of a sudden they grow immediately horrified they start pointing at something and spinning in a circle and dying horribly instantaneously hitting the floor and, and just going into convulsions and dying. And if you don't believe there aren't powerful beings walking this planet and returning these lower beings to where they belong, then you're missing a hell of a show. It's not like they haven't told us this goes on because when, like we've said so many times, when they make a movie they're telling you some of these events occurring are actual things that are happening. Like in the movie Jupiter Ascending when all those buildings were on fire and, and she's looking over her shoulder all panicked and he said, oh, don't worry about that. It'll be rebuilt in no time. And as she looked at it, the buildings started to come back to what they were. It was like it was just regenerating back to what it was. They're telling you that we live in this created illusion and they have the ability to change it around at will. Uh, what about the water and the fish? Yes. That's a prime example of that, that when they make changes in the matrix and things that, like, for example, uh, 
returning the desert back to its original form yes. where it was uh, flowering and beautiful and wasn't just you know all about just dust and nothing the and hanging gardens of Babylonia were incredibly beautiful that's because those areas were abundant with jungle uh, primates and jaguars and it was lush the valley was full of life and let me tell you Stephen A. Jones popping in the garden. Uh, I just wanted to tell you people something very important about all this. <clears throat> These were biospheres that were created gardens that existed. And the, the hanging gardens of Babylonia and other places uh, were one of many thousands of humanitarian projects that were underway. It was a version of Nasara Jasara but it existed on a worldwide level and scale where they were beginning to beautify the entire planet again. Yes. And uh, they were well underway. And then, of course, we had the occurrence of Tartarian civilization, which furthered the um, inventor's ilk. <clears throat> now, this may come as a bit of a surprise to people, but inventing things are among some of the highest respected kinds of activities that father, who is also the clockwork father, because he is also the creator of AI and also the creator of steampunk and things that click together, gears and yeah. cogs that fit together. You could ask Victoria about this. She could tell you about cogs, let me tell you. But anyhow, the, the, the point that I'm trying to drive home here is that all of these things are going to happen when Father deems them to happen. And there's not a damn thing anyone can do about it because he controls the matrices, yes. all of them. He has the final word on what they're all going to say and do. So I point to you the miracle of the rolling water with the fish. fish swimming in the desert, appearing out of nowhere, and a bunch of religious people standing around trying to understand it and being amazed at Allah and their minds being blown. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you when Father decides something's going to happen, it just simply happens. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter how you bend or stretch reality because Father can bend and stretch any reality because he creates it all in the first damn place. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah, mm hmm So keep that in mind while you're discussing these things. But Michael has hit on to something with the Schumann, and he's right, and Victoria's right, and you want to listen to them because we're looking at echoes of beings and things that are going on here on Terra. It's like having an echo map, uh, a radar map of all the dark beings and other things that are, and, and all the light beings and all the things that are going on. It creates an echo in this surrounded spheroid in its toroidal shape it is neither flat it is neither perfectly round it is toroidal and there are zones in the matrix that exist that are of course flat because they were designed to be that way as an interactive holographic like world that can pancake stack upon itself and create a toroidal shape at the same time while exhibiting the aspects of being built by flat, stacked, pancake-like things that yes. are part of the overall toroidal shape. Yes. That's why you can have a flat area, because an entire plane of existence like this one uh, is flat, but it is also inserted into a toroidal aspect that, well, you see, you try to explain this to people, but that's the duality of Father. You can be both you could both be a, a fantasy and a reality. That's the duality of Father. That's why you have two strands of DNA. That's the duality of humanity. And that today is Stephen A. Jones' rant to get your mind going, to remind you of the importance of these things. Because people, you've got to open your mind if you're going to connect to Father. You can, you're not to be limited. You can't be limited by just the rules of this matrix. You have to see beyond it in order to grow beyond it. So please, listen to Stephen A. Jones, your buddy, when I tell you that's how you got to start thinking about things so that Father can open up the world to you and then you'll begin to see things no one else can see, do things no one else can do, and hear things no one else can hear. Hmm? 
Yes, exactly. And they often pop in. I had, did you guys know I got a visit last night from the Flavidians? There's some particular being up there in the city, because he said they live in a city. And then there's the Slovidians. Slovidians? No, 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 not slow. It was, uh, I think you're right. It was Slovidian. Slovidians. Slovidians. Yes. Slo Slovidians or something like that, right? Now, what kind of beings are they? They're partial energetic beings. And, uh, but they're also part uh, uh, real and they're part energy. And, and that's, again, uh, like Stephen was saying, that's what the duality thing is all about, mm -hmm. is that you can exist in two states at the same time if you were designed that way. And some beings, in order to function correctly, have to be both physical, and that's part of what you are, but also manifest on a higher plane, that's your higher self. Do you see how that works? I see. I, because they were talking to me. There was one of them that came. Yeah, yeah, the Slovidians. The yeah, Slovidians. The, anyway, they've got their eye on me, whatever that meant. They've got their, they're watching us. Yeah, and they watch the other people on the planet, too. They like Terra because all the energy is changing right now. So they're trying to see how they can adapt to this because they're studying that. Because when humans change in their energetic shape, you're going to be part matter and uh, part energy too. So that's why they're here when you move up to the fifth dimension. That's what they're here to study, Ariel. Well, you kept pinching me on the arm. Yeah, because so I wasn't very let, let me explain now why. When they pinch you like that, it, 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 it hurts physically, but it creates an energy pulse. Um. And they were studying some energy pulses off of you. But I said, don't do that. It, it, it hurts humans when you pinch them. And he, they said, well, we were not pinching very hard. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's not a nice thing to do, because humans get mad when you pinch them. Yeah. Okay? I mean, I, I get mad Who at someone. Who wants to pinch. be pinched? And it's like in the middle of the night, sometimes Victoria goes through this yeah. stuff. Yeah, 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, you're getting pinched. And it's like, ow! Oh. It's like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm sorry, I must register the energy off. You're like, who the F are you? What are you doing here? So it gets funny sometimes. Yeah, it does, but. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, guys, sometimes you're on the receiving end for some of this crap. Because, unfortunately, you know, the two of you are like this magnet for this stuff. And a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of beings like to kind of experience uh, what the connectivity is like. That, like, we have a free ability to channel with Michael pretty much any time we want. Michael's been very open about that. Uh, he doesn't want to channel dark beings. Uh, but occasionally he does, not because he wants to, no. but because they take over him mm -hmm. and have done that a few times. And, uh, you know, and they've accused us of being possessed and all this stuff. And I say, I understand why you think that way. I do. But we're here to tell you, look at what we manifest. Okay. But look at what we're doing. We're trying to get people to love Father. I mean, it's not typically what dark beings do. And you know really? it. And everyone knows it. And they just, they're afraid of the real truth, which is that people, beings, humanity... Uh, you are supposed to uh, easily be able to open up to certain kinds of beings. Yes. As long as you are led by Father and protected by Father, you pretty much can connect to other divine beings that are out there. You want to connect with them, the divine beings, the good ones, right? That's what you open up to, not the dark beings. And we talk about it all the time. So is that what these Flavidians were? They were here beings? to just, to, yeah, they're essentially good beings. Okay. Uh, they were here to register energies and energetics. And part of what they do is their society and race is designed around uh, different types of electronical uh, uh, presentations. They can alter their appearance, of course, but they also have a physical aspect. So the two of them are working together uh, to uh, reunite their species into a higher dimensional being, because part of them is a lower dimensional being. And if you think about it, that's exactly what humanity is going through right now. Yeah. So uh, that's why they're here, because they can learn. You see, that's why a lot of these uh, non-terrestrials come to your planet. Because humans teach them things that they sometimes need to know. And it's not just that you're just food. That's the reptilian side. There's the other side where there are good beings who do come here all the time. Believe me, this is a big, big laboratory for them, okay? It always mm -hmm. has been. Plus, they, they like it because uh, these aliens also over these tens of millions of years have been introducing different species onto the planet. You know, for example, cats, okay? We love yeah. cats. I mean, we recently saw a special on cats, and we were, cats are amazing beings, and there's no question that they were designed to be 
fast as hell and able to do certain things that other beings weren't and they were a wonderful gift to, to, to your world yeah and they were here to also protect you too most of them are yes. guardians and, and people have just freaked out about cats over the, the, the generations and the years, especially during the, the witch times when they just got rid of a lot of cats. But uh, nowadays you can't go anywhere without seeing a cat somewhere. And a lot of them have actual planned destinations, destinies, spiritual journeys that they too are going on from other larger beings like cat lords and stuff. And we tell people this stuff and they think we're whack. That this matrix exists on many levels, even for animals, too. I'm going to break it down to the simplest. Animals, okay, right? Animals go through spiritual ascension, yes. too. I was thinking about what you said about the layers. If you can imagine when a child starts blowing bubbles out of one of those pipes and the bubbles start coming up, not only does it kind of look like you'll get a big bubble sometimes, but inside the big bubble are other bubbles. And that's kind of how, if you don't understand some of what we're saying, is if you look at it from a simplistic form as a bubble within bubbles, and there are different dimensional aspects that you see inside each those bubbles because of light refraction. So that's what's going on. You, you kind of see the cogs of this planet and how it operates. And think of like one of these dimensions on a flat cog, a round object spinning, yes. like a pancake spinning in, in space, yeah. but then that is surrounded by a bubble, which also is part of a larger bubble that represents what the true shape, energy, power, and appearance of Terra is. And I want to mention that was in the movie, The Dark Crystal, with Okra, the old lady inside her laboratory there were bubbles within bubbles spinning around up there they were showing you how the technology of this planet operates. it is a clockwork universe yes. okay once you get that it's completely different they just tell you oh it's just one big expanding universe and all this all these whack job scientists now are like oh it's expanding at some point it's going to shrink and we're all going to die and blah 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 I said, you don't know what you're talking about, buddy. That's because without father, father will not allow certain sciences to see beyond certain points because they don't have father in it. So that's what they're getting, a big void of just stuff spreading out. Oh, sure, you get to see the pictures of the stars and everything else, but those are encapsulated universes. Yes. They're encapsulated worlds, and you can't reach them the way that you think. You must travel along the matrix of bubbles in order to get into other places. Uh -huh. And once you get that, you there's some brilliant scientists that have come out and said, it's a bubble universe. Yes, it's exactly what it is, and each has its own stacked pancakes and matrices. That's why they think it's all flat, but it's not. It's all bubbles. You know, and portals help from this one bubble... One bubble point to another. To another. That's what portals do. Where all the bubbles touch? Yeah. Where there's all the intersections yeah. of those bubbles? That's where the strongest and oldest portals exist. Yeah. And then you can create ripples of that portal by using special technology all along a bubble and open up other portals and travel back to the main point where they all touch and then go from there anywhere. Uh -huh. That's how beautiful it is. Mm -hmm. Father created a clockwork bubble universe. Yeah. Well, I guess that ending on that point's pretty good. Holy cow, this has been a pretty yeah, good one. I'll make a video out You may of this. want to make a video out of this, and let me tell you, if you haven't stopped by When the Ancients Speak, you might want to. Uh, WhenTheAncientSpeak.com, and also remember to, to visit us. Uh, you can join the cutting room floor, and you get to hear these kind of MP3s all the time. It's... Uh, uh, under five dollars a month and that helps pay for our uh, bandwidth and basically to stay up so that we can produce the truth to you and we're sorry that we have to ask for this small a little bit of money but you understand nowadays how difficult it can be and we want to make sure that we keep uh, all of these things uh, in, in ready for you so you can visit the cutting room floor you can also shop when the ancients speak and also donate if you choose please stop by have a great day blessings love and light